Hello, dear viewer and listener and people in the bath, and welcome to ABW Preview with me and Stan the Man from London in Canada. And uh, he's got a box of new things that we're not going to talk about. Oh, so excited, Stan. I know. I just got a new microphone and stuff, but as I was saying oh, to don't Danny... Ruin it. I was just you saying to Danny... Pretend it was anything. I can't be bothered to open it and set it up because I'm not good at any of that sort of stuff. So I just keep looking at it. I will try and do it this afternoon. Have you got um, a, a headset to go with it? Yeah, I've got headphones. Yeah. Oh, got everything now. Yeah. Excellent. All set up. Um, yes. Yeah, so at the moment, there's only Ray in there. Oh, this says there's five people there. Where are they all? All five are on, on the on the YouTube. At the moment, there's only Ray in there. So we have a little chit chat with Ray. Ray's in Jamaica and he says the weather is warm, but okay. Here, Ray, it is 2.8 degrees, so that's 6 plus 28. It's 34 degrees here. Oh, and uh, so there's Ray, uh, warm but okay. There's yeah, BX Gunner in New York. Ray's in Texas. Is he? is he? Yeah, I believe so. I'm sure he said New York. I'm sure he'll let us know. If he's in New York, and probably knows Glenn. I mean, everybody, in New every Arsenal fan in New York knows each other. I think that's the way it works, isn't it? Oh, Cy is there. Cy is always there. You're right, Cy. What's the weather like where you are? I think Cy's in America. I'm sure he is. Um, right, so uh, what were we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the Arsenal, Liverpool v Arsenal game that uh, by all rights should be called off because uh, we've got players injured and um, players have got COVID. But because we're a proper club and we're not a load of scumbags, the game's going to go ahead because we just get on with it, don't we? Well, I'm surprised Liverpool haven't put a request in to play rush goalies. <laughs> yeah. someone, said, side match. someone said yesterday i'm surprised liverpool haven't put a uh a request in to uh have the the afcon cancelled because they need to go and play games because uh they've got the play they need their players back or or some old shenanigans like that um people we're on if there's anybody on twitter we're actually live on twitter every time now i think we had 30, about 53 people watching the other day at a peak which is always nice so i'm just gonna go yeah, hello, Twitter. If you are on Twitter, we can't interact with you, which is very sad. Um, ah, BX Gun is in Charlotte now. Well, that's good. We're about to see Charlotte again. I know Ric Flair comes from Charlotte, but I don't know, who, I don't know where it is. Um, North, North Carolina. Carolina. Shred, Shredder from our pod was in uh, Carolina. Um, G Man Green. Not all that confident for tonight, but come on, you gunners. That is someone on Twitch. As uh, a person who loves Twitch, I've been using Twitch since 2015. Everybody should use Twitch because it is far more better uh, and attractive than um, than the YouTube is. I love Twitch. I spend probably six or eight hours a day watching Twitch. Normally people doing um, in real life, IRL, where they're just walking around. There's a bloke in Manila I watch going around on his scooter. There's a bloke called Rob in <laughs> Australia. And there's uh, Daily Dasher, whole load of them, and uh, it's brilliant. Ray says it is 30 degrees Celsius here. Oh, lovely! So that's um, lovely. we're 2.9 degrees Celsius here. I think Ray wins. That Loki's there. Loki is always there, All right? Loki, how are you doing? Lovely. Weather shit where Loki is, no doubt. Um, yes. Yeah, so uh, I just need a second. So I'm going to go and add this to our tweet just so people can see that we're on the. Uh, there we go. Paste it in there. Boom, select tool and copy. And then I will come back to that later and tweet it. Right, let's have a... Where, where is the game on? I hear absolutely nobody asking. Well, you can have it on Now TV, Sky Go Extra or Sky Go. But for us normal people, it's going to be on Sky Sports Main Event, Sky Sports Football, Sky Ultra HD, which is nice. It's also going to be... Um, the audio is going to be on Talk Sport and Radio 5. Now, uh, Stan, in, in Canada, it is going to be on DAZN. The zone. I used to call it D A Z N, and another like, people used to laugh at me in the pub. I don't what it's the zone. Just right. remind them we used to own that country to shut the trap. <laughs> <laughs> in Jamaica, Ray, it is going to be on uh, ESPN Play Caribbean and ESPN Two Caribbean. And for Bex, it is going to be where is it? The U S of A, ESPN Plus. See. What a service we provide. Absolutely. Well, well, if you are um, watching me to the it. game on the zone, if you didn't know this, um, I just found out this morning that as of next season, the zone yeah. will no longer be showing the Premier League games. So there's another company 
called foot something or other that we have to change to. So that's going to be a bit of a headache. I hate changing services. Swines. Um, Ray already beat me to it, as did BX. I said Bex. I don't know why I said Bex. BX gun. It says, uh, it's on ESPN in the States. You both beat me to it. As I was reading it out, you both said it. Right, Stan. We've had some right old schlobber knockers of previous matches with these. Only in the League Cup, only away. The last time was nil-nil, and then we beat them 5-4 on penalties. I don't remember this. Um, it's on the 1st of October 2020. Why do I remember nothing about that? And oddly, tonight, they're going to have uh, Leno played, Suarez played, Gabriel holding, Saka, Xhaka, and Eddie played. So half of the team that played then are going to play now. That's quite a rare thing for us with the number of changes we've had. Um, players leaving. But do you remember that game, the nil-nil? I don't remember the, the, the nil-nil, but the penalties, I remember. No, no, I don't remember the penalties either. How no, could I have forgotten penalties. that? That's terrible. Anyway, one I do remember is the one before that, where uh, it was the 5-5 on the 30th of October 2019. Yeah. Uh, we, at one point, were... Oh, no, they scored first with an own goal from Mustafi. And then Torreya scored, and then Martinelli scored, and then Martinelli scored, and we were winning 3-1. They thought, that's it. It's all over. And then they, they scored for Milner, made it 3-2. Then Maitland-Niles scored to make it 4-2. Then the Ox scored to make it 4-3. And then Divock Origi scored to make it 4 all, And then Willock scored to make it 5-4. And we thought, that's it. It's all over. And Origi scored in the 90th minute, and then they beat us 5-4 on pens. And who missed the penalty for us? Danny Ceballos. Scumbag. Do you remember that game? There's yes, no way you can forget yeah. it, is there? No, I remember that as you're, as you're going through that now. That was a good, that was a good game. But um, I don't think it's going to be anything like that today. Well, it, one side of it might be, <laughs> not our yeah. side. Well, it sounds like we're going to be able, we're going to have a lot of seller tape over our yeah. over our team today. I mean, the lineups that haven't haven't come out yet. But I mean, if you ask me for a prediction for this one, I wouldn't be able to tell you because I have no no idea who we're going to be fielding. Ah, yes. No, nor have I really. There's more people have been typing. Uh, Stu MC, I always watch all the international coverage. No Tyler, no winning cave dweller like Carragher, Bliss, Espanol, Francis to do. I'm not sure what to make of any of that. Like, do you know them? Yeah, I think he's saying that he doesn't he, he, he doesn't like the usual uh, commentators like the Carragers and stuff, right? So he listens to it in French or, or Spanish. Ah, because Carragher doesn't speak English. Just squeaks a lot. Yeah, I can't stand it. Oh, Mark's there. Hello, Mark. Uh, he says hello to both of us. Nice to see you there, Mark. Yeah, Mark. Um, Matthew's there. I take it he's a Liverpool fan, so we'll ignore you. Um, G Man Green says, Do we think it'll be Leno or Ramsdale tonight? Yeah, I'd like to see Ramsdale, but what do you think? I think it, uh, I think there's a good chance that it could be Ramsdale tonight. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Only for the, the distribution aspect of it. Yeah. Hmm. Good. I was, I was hoping you were going to give a longer answer there while I do another tweet. Well, I haven't seen that Leno played in the last game as well. Yeah. I think it might be. Um, I think it might be. Uh, I think we might see Ramsdale tonight, but you never know. And you know, don't get me wrong. I do like Leno. He's a good shot stopper. Mm. He's great. Some great he, saves in the last yeah. game. It's just a few other aspects of this game where he's slightly behind Ramsdale. So. It's not an area that I'm really fussed with, to be honest. Either or, I'm, I'll, you know, I'll, I won't be disappointed. Good, yeah, but we both want Ramsdale. Uh, Ray says, "Don't worry, he doesn't. He only remembers the five-five as well." How can I forget the nil-nil? A, a penalty shooter. You'd think I'd remember that. Uh, Mark says he'd like to see Ramsdale, but expects Leno. I think we agree with that. And Ray says Leno, but I want to see Ramsdale. I think we've all agreed on that. Uh, and then the, the game, the last one before that in the League Cup game. Uh, I vaguely remember this one. It was the 9th of January 2007. We beat them 6 3. Do you remember that? Julio Batista scored four. Oh, yeah. I do remember that now. If he, yeah. If Julio yeah. Batista. Uh, I never we thought scored... he was going to be the second coming and, and it didn't quite it. work out. Yeah. And that was the second player to score four goals against Liverpool at That's Anfield. Right. After Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah, we scored first with Ali Adier. And then they scored a Robbie Fowler, bloody hell. And then we scored one, two, three, four, five in a row.
to make it no we scored four in a row to make it with uh, Batista got three song got one and so then we were uh five one up and then they got a couple with Gerard and Hupier and then uh, Batista scored again but I line up that day Mal- uh, Almunia in goal Juru and Toure at the back Hoyt Justin Hoyt at right back at uh, Armand Triori left back wow. central midfield of Song and Danielson and Sesk Danielson. and then I think it's Julio up front and Walcott on the right and Jermaine Aliadier on the right on the left. Wow. Yeah, some names in there. Fucking hell. Great days. I know, actually were they great days in two thousand and seven? I think that's the end of the great days. That was that was the, the decade of uh, dross that we had coming through. Ah, oh, there's uh, some more messages. Uh, that'd be a good retro watch along. I think I've given I did the one with um at, on Scott's channel. The uh, the red cannon. We did the 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 four four with um, Ashby and scoring four. We oh yeah, did that a couple of weeks ago. And uh, Loki says Ali Adier tore them apart. Pete Colson, oh, Pete. He says uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and handsome flower pots. Shaved the beard off today. Uh, I had to get my mum to brush me down. My mum's popped over for a cup of tea and a slice of cake with no cake because I'm too fat. You right, mum? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Keep it down. Uh, Mark says that's when both teams were crap. <laughs> I think that's more like it. Uh, so I think the lineup is going to go then. So we'd obviously want Ramsdale in goal, but then we think it's going to be Leno because he's our cup goalkeeper and it's only fair on him. But um, so many such slim pickings for the rest of it. And there was some um, uh, Charles Watts was saying today that we think we might go at three at the back. Do you think that would work? Because yeah. we saw the mess Cedric made of the last game that he played against. Uh, uh, a mid-table championship side, let alone Liverpool, who are one of the best teams in the world at the moment. I also saw another article as well um, saying that um, I think it was coming from Arsenal about the idea of maybe Ben White playing in the mid in the midfield. So oh, Josh he, is a Brighton season ticket holder because he, he's been sport. He lives there and he's been a season ticket holder since they were in the, the, the third tier of English football. And he says Ben White can do that. He did that a few times for Brighton last season. So you never know. It could be a three at the back with a Ben White in there, moved out from the right back into the midfield. But you've got to remember as well that Callum Chambers was also quite successful at Fulham playing in that role. I think he got their player of the season playing in that position. Mm. So that could be another another option, even though we've not seen really much of Callum this season. And then uh, <laughs> there, there was the rumour as well that uh, Kalasanak has been seen training in the midfield department area, which is something that I really hope. Don't. I mean, for, for, for Mikel Arteta to do that, that's basically him standing on the sideline, holding, a, holding up a big sign to the director's box saying, I need players. Yeah, you know, it's the biggest, big, the biggest statement you could ever put out there. So it's going to be, it could be a couple, could be a surprise in the in the actual formation, as you say, three stroke five at the back, and yeah. somebody that we don't usually see in the midfield popping up in there. I think it would make sense, especially playing against a team like this. I mean, they may not have um, Mane and Salah, but they've still got Diego Jota, who has been an absolute. Yeah revelation since coming to them and banging in goals against everyone. I don't like the scrawny little shit. He's got a face like a smacked ass, but he is a hell of a player. And uh, Divock Origi, no, not, is it Divock Origi? They're yeah, super he always comes on and uh, puts yeah. one away, doesn't he? I think he's injured or he's not playing. And there was, a, I think, one of their fullbacks, I think it was um, Terence Trent Darby is playing, but the other one um, has had a knock and might not be playing. But I don't think it matters what what players we've got because they're going to have such a strong team. We're going to be in so much trouble. Um, oh, we've got some more messages in here. Um, Ray Anderson says, uh, Odegaard, Tommy Ashu and ESR are out. Yep. Yeah. Craig Murphy. That's a name I don't recognize before. Hello, Craig. If you're new, give it a thumbs up and a, a subscribe and uh, send me some cake and chocolates and sweets and lots of crisps because I'm hungry. And BX says, I just want, I just know Minamino will score first and Jota will bounce, will bounce, is bound to score. We need to start fast and get an early goal or just play, stand everybody in front of the goal for 90 minutes and let them take pelters. Are you bothered if we don't get to the final? Um, Against Chelsea, because they beat Spurs 1 0 last night. They got through to the final 3 0 on aggregate. Well, we, do, we usually sometimes do quite well against Chelsea, you know, but. It's a two-legger. That's the thing with this uh, part. It's two legs. And 
I, I was hoping that, you know, to try and cut down on some fixtures that they would just turn it into a straight one, you know, one match knockout somewhere at a neutral ground. But over two legs, I think it's just, um, it's just like uh, delaying the death. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like we're down and we're wounded and everyone's agony. walking past us. I'd Ooh. rather just go out and what after one leg. Ray says the team is out, so I'm going to have a little see if I can find it. So, what would be the rest of your lineup? Do you think you'd pick? Say again, sorry, Danny. What, what would be the rest of the lineup you think we're going to have to go with? Because we don't have much choice, do we? I think Sambula Congo will have to play in the midfield. Um, I don't think we're going to see Charlie Patino again. And mm. then is Xhaka back? If Xhaka's back, he'll be in there next to Sambula Congo. But if he's not back, then there's going to be someone popping in that we're not going to... It's going to be a surprise in there, I think. All right, here we go. Yeah, Hold on to your hats, probably. ladies and gentlemen. Here is the... Uh, I'll just get rid of Stan, uh, Ray's comment. Oh, Craig says, long-time listener from Ireland. Just don't make many of the live shows. My mum's here and she's Irish. Don't tell her I told you. She's uh, she's wandered off. I would get her to come in here and uh, do a little jig for you. Uh, here we go. Here is the lineup, people. Ramsdale in goal. Oh, okay. Takes a deep breath. Uh, Cedric right back, Tierney left back. He's gone at four at the back stand. Yeah. Ooh, uh, White and Gabriel at centre back. So that is uh, so that is four out of our best back five. Like you were saying, Lakonga and Jacker in midfield, and then we got Saka on the left. Uh, no, Saka on the right. Martinelli left. Lacazette doing the ten, and Enketia up front. Oh, what do you think about Lacazette doing the ten? Well, he plays. He plays. He, he plays deep anyway. He's been playing very deep for us, and uh, it's basically all that we have. You know, <laughs> <laughs> can't there's grumble. A lot of movement around. At, at some points, it's probably going to be more of a two up front as well. At times, it's just really for off the ball. So um, yeah, I mean, it's the what it's the best that we've got. I'm just looking at the bench. Yeah, Chambers is there. I'm not. We've not seen Chambers for a very long time. I mean, there's a lot of names on there on the bench that you know that you, that we don't usually see. Pitino's on there. Salah, Edine, I don't know that yeah. Hutchinson, and the other chap that I can't even pronounce that. Bereth. Bereth. Yeah, I don't, even, I don't even know summer. what some of those positions are. Is Bereth a forward? I don't know. He is. He's an, he's uh, he's English, but his parents are from Eastern Europe. Got him from Fulham in the summer. Seventeen years old, and he is an absolute monster. Uh, I think okay. he's a bit gingerish. Not that that's good or, or bad, unless you're unless you're females. And I do love a ginger lady. Are you there, Stan? Yeah, a lot, lot, a lot, a lot of um, other side, a lot of, def lot of defenders on the bench as well. Hello. <laughs> I think as well with that last game that we played, where Patino played in the played in the in the midfield, and if you look at the bench, I think Arteta looked at P Patino's performance, looked over at the bench, and thought to himself, "I don't think I can bring many of these on," you know. And do the same thing to them. Are you a little bit more confident now that you've seen that is a quite a strong lineup? Um, I'm looking at people's comments now. I've forgotten what it is already. The only downside about any of that is possibly Eddie up front and Cedric at right back. Yeah. Other than that, that is a very strong team. Lukonga's had 90 minutes against Forest, so that was important because we could see against Forest that he was quite rusty. Well, a lot of people have been saying that we've got a, a quite a strong first eleven. I actually think out of the first eleven, we've got a strong nine out of the first eleven. And there again, there's two players that you know we really don't want to see. So it's another strong nine again, as long as we can give a good account for ourselves and at least make the efforts, not go into it saying, "Well, you know, it's Liverpool. We're not expected to win," like we did at the beginning of the season with those first three games. You know, yeah. those first three games were shocking. And I think that everybody was saying about the Man City in the Chelsea game that we weren't expected to get anything out of it. And that's how the players went out onto the pitch. They, they'd, they'd given up the ghost before they even kicked a ball. Whereas against uh, Man City just uh, recently, they, they went out there and had a go at it. You know, they didn't just sit back. They didn't just go, well, it's Man City. No one expects us to win. They had a go at it. And I hope they can do the same today. You know, even if we lose, leave it all on the pitch. That that will do yeah. for me. Got the Liverpool lineup here from someone's tweet, so we can just about make out. It's got um, Alisson in goal. Uh, is that Fabiano? Fabiano? Oh, oh my god, they've got Van Dijk, and well, that's just the squad. That's the squads. That's not the lineup. I think the lineup's slightly below it. You scumbags, ignore that, people. 
Um, yeah, I've not seen the. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's someone just saying I thought this squad wasn't big enough. I didn't read it. Uh, no, that's someone else doing a predicted lineup. Five um... substitutes as well, you can field, right? Isn't in this? Hmm. Hopefully, I think we could have had five in the FA Cup as well, but we didn't use five. Scotland have just announced that they're going to bring that into their league as well. In, for the rest of the league, they can have five substitutions. The whole of Europe do it, and we don't do it. Oh, here we go. Starting 11 for Liverpool. I finally found it. We haven't right. got five substitutions at the minute. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Nothing's ever simple. Right, Alison in goal. Um, uh, Terence, uh, no, Alexander Arnold at, was he, is he left back? Yeah. And right back. No, he's a uh, right back. Been, yeah, Robertson left back, Matip and Van Dyke at centre back. Um, and then you've got Fabino, Henderson, and Milner in midfield. And then you've got Jota, Minamino, and Firmino up front. So they have three players whose surnames end in O. Hopefully, that's how many goals they'll score tonight. And on the bench, even in a game like this, the Ox can't get a game. On the bench, they don't really have anyone other than the Ox and Jones. Uh, that's pretty good, but. I think if I um if I do this, then I can go uh, share, and then share a screen, Chrome tab. Uh, is it this one? Yes, it is this one. There you go. Can you see the the line up there? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of that? Well, you know they're in almost a similar situation as us, where they're not at their strongest as well. You know. Yeah. Right. They're not at their strongest as well, and Milner is not the most mobile of players. You know, even though, he, you know, he's good at what he does, he's not very mobile. So why can't we have a go at him? Well, you I know? think Van Dijk and Alice have something I mean, to say I, about I that. Think, I think that we've got an equal chance of being able to get something out of this game, looking at, at their lineup. Yeah, you know, I think both sides are very... Sad. They're, they're, the main, they're the frighteners, aren't they, when you look at when you look at a Liverpool team? And they're not there. Um, I think looking at... Both sides have got really strong defences, apart from Suarez, and we've got, both sides have got a makeshift central midfield. But up front, I think they slightly get the edge because Firmino and Jota and Minamino are all got goals in them. So now that you've seen all that lot, what's your prediction? Um, I'm going to go with. Two oh, one, two. See, I want to go for a draw, right? My heart says draw, but my head says maybe a Liverpool win, and it might be a, a two one win to Liverpool. And I don't like to go against Arsenal, but it's over two legs, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's a tough one. I think I'm going to go uh, two 0 Liverpool. As much as I'd like to uh, be confident, and say we're going to batter them, I can't see us scoring a goal. Because it does seem it does seem that the people that are usually you know supplying us with goals they're not there are they? Other than Saka, really. Odegaard not having Odegaard there is a huge loss. But there going we yeah. saw Saka Odegaard Martinelli game. against a shit Nottingham Forest side, and we didn't even get a shot on target. So um, yeah, see what people in the chat are saying. Um, well, we can start from the bottom. Ah, oh, El El Ducio. I know we follow each other on Twitter. Nice to see you here. They're cheating scumbags at the end of the day. That's practically a full strength side. Excellent. Um, BX Gunner says, I want to beat Liverpool today. Sunday is Sunday. True. Pete says he'll take a 1-0 loss tonight. Mark says he agrees with me. Can't see us scoring. Ah, uh, Pete has a question. Who um, would, you choo would you choose to lose tonight and no Wembley chip and finish fourth and beat the Spuds on Sunday? Yeah, that's not likely to ever happen though. No if one I ever had to, yeah, if I had to this. do that because that's finishing fourth, that means that we're in the Champions League, and that's what it's all about. I'd be happy just right. to be Spurs at their place, and that, that's that uh, complete my season for us. And um, BX says they have a really good unit, and we're starting Eddie. Mark says Liverpool taking this seriously too. BX, we're going to have to be perfect today. That isn't yeah. going to happen. 95 wins done. All right, Gov. And stay on the pitch, Zaka. <laughs> He's going to be tempted to kick people, isn't he? Uh, Mark says again, does the away goal rule count? I think it does. 
Um, BX is going to go and sacrifice a chicken. Colonel <laughs> Ward rather had Chambers and Mari playing, and we'd have gone for five at the back. Uh, that is, um, Mari can't play. And both of those two haven't played any football in, it's got to be two, three months, because they're not even playing for the under 23s. And we saw against Forest how, how players play when they've not played for a while. So I wouldn't have done that. Um, would you have done that, Stan? Would you like to have seen Mari and Chambers playing? Not really. I, I think that was just kind of right finding, finding a rhythm in the formation that we've been using. And I don't want to change that around too much, if we can help mm. it. Uh, on paper, having Chambers at right back is a better idea because, like you're saying, Stan, he was brilliant for Fulham. And then when he was at Middlesbrough, and then they went down, he was really good. He covered there at times and in, in DM. But you can't bring two players in to play at Anfield when they've not played in months. I'm surprised Chambers isn't getting a shout ahead of Cedric because when he has been used sparingly, and I think uh, I can remember him being used on the left-hand side as well, he's looked okay. He's looked better than Cedric for me. Yes. Um, oh, we've got someone else whose name I don't really recognise there. Ms. Westlower with the East End, with the East End, with the East End. Hi, Bree. Go on, Ms. Westlower, your turn. <laughs> And then, uh, actually, it used to be the, the West Stand that wouldn't really say anything. The whole of the stadium would do their ones, and the West Stand would go, shh, because they'd all be asleep in their comfy seats. <laughs> um, keep the goals against low, says 95. Um, uh, BX says, Cedric and White were dreadful against Forest. Liverpool will rip them apart. I think, I think that's what we all think. They've definitely got more than one goal in that Liverpool side, whereas for us, we, we're going to struggle to find one. Do you know what I mean? That's what yeah. I feel. I agree. Um, Ed, uh, it's not, Winston says, I hope Eddie surprises us, but I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, BX, we have to give it a go. Another gutless display where we'll be horrible and leave us loath on morale. Yeah. Never so, know, man. Maybe Eddie will get three tappings. Possibly, or that a combined distance of two feet. <laughs> Green man, G man Green says very worried about Sambi. I think Sambi will be all right. He's had a game. He's had a game to shake the the uh, the, the rusty bits off. Uh, Winston says someone wants Mari on loan. Yeah, I think the That's right. who was it? His, his old team. Um, oh, Wait, in Brazil. Okay. Yeah, Sao Paulo was it? I think That's where we got him from. Okay. Ah, oh, Riddy is there. Evening, lads. Uh, G-Man says again, away goals rule doesn't apply for the League Cup. Hmm. Well, that might save us a little bit. Um, right, people in the chat, We've nearly this show's nearly over. There's uh, 27 of you, uh, which is nice to see. Uh, oh, Udinese want Mari, says okay. BX. Very good. Uh, if you can all put your predictions in the chat, I always say to you, can you put them in the comments in the, our YouTube channel? But none of you ever do. You let me down. I'll shave my beard and everything. Not even had anything to eat yet today. Uh, yeah, put your your, comment, your score predictions in the, the chat and then I will highlight them and then we can laugh at you later. Ah, oh, Colonel Ward says Flamingo. Yeah, man. I, just, I know it's red. I can see the red and black stripes. And I think that's what I was getting mixed up with. BX has gone 2-2. Two, two. Um, you're staying at 2-1 and I'm staying at 2-0. Stand still? Yeah, I think 2-1 to Liverpool. Yeah. Um, oh, here we go. Loki, Loki's found his crack pipe. 4 0 Eddie Hattrick. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Brady, before you ask, Pat, there's your wave because you see the Astral wave. It says 1 1. Uh, Ms. West Lower, the Highbury Library. <laughs> yeah, they only said that because they were jealous because it's the greatest stadium the world has ever seen. Um, you went there many times, didn't you, Stan? Did you? Yeah, I sure did. Yeah, yeah so there's someone I was talking to that was our, our age. That said they didn't really go much <clears throat> i can't remember who it was ray anderson has put a one nil loss um pete colson two nil to the i'm not going to say that in case they're listening uh riddy says two one the scousers um look look people look what i did oh, i shouldn't really do this but i redesigned the liverpool badge look what i did <laughs> i covered it with liverpool <laughs> They've been nippers. That's as mean as I can be about them. We've seen what's happened to Harry Simu. Bloody hell. They found a tweet of his from 2012 saying he couldn't stand the way they talk. And they've uh, they've all come for him now, a decade later. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Um, 
Hey, Pat says thanks. Glad yeah. I wasn't on Twitter a decade ago, Jesus. I deleted 120,000 of my tweets over the last year or so because of the amount of shit I used to come out with. Um, Winston has per. I will take a 3 1 loss to Liverpool now. Kate Johnson. Okay. I made her laugh with my Ram Ramsey sticking leaks up his bum comment last night. I don't know where I got that from. Kate says 2 2. And Colonel Ward says below five is an improvement, I guess. <laughs> That's very true. Riddy says, let's play. Let's please stay in the tie. Yep. Adam Chamberlain, just sending love, Danny, you wonderful man. Oh, cheers, Adam. You're very kind. And 2164. And you've changed the number of numbers in your number. 235 100. There was loads more than that before. Maybe he's had a, a tax audit and had the, the, the oh, here we go, Nick. 5 0 at the Arsenal. Well, Nick's going to be on the show later, I think. Well, it's up to him. He meant it'd be valuable for the Spurs post game, but I put him down for this one. So he may be on both. It's up to him. Uh, Riddy says, No Odegaard for Sunday then. I don't know. Kate's still laughing from my comment last night. Paul Nell, not Neil. Uh, Ramsdale is in the net 2 1 win. His distribution is definitely going to be something Liverpool are going to worry about because there is no quicker counter attack in, in world football than Ramsdale getting the ball, booting it down onto the foot of Martinelli at 500 mile an hour. Yeah. Even playing the ball normally, you, you ain't going to get a quick counter-attack from goalie to attack in, in that length of time. Um, right, so there we go. We've had plenty of people there giving their opinion. Um, if you are new to the podcast and you like it, give us a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if you think we're worth it. And uh, put a comment below, because when YouTube says there's lots of comments, even if you go in there and put potato or I'm a mushroom, YouTube goes, hey, look, there's people commenting on this video. They obviously like it. We're going to recommend it to more Arsenal fans. Because uh, the last podcast, I think one of the last ones had one comment, and that was me saying hello. Uh, Loki has put, uh, Nick's got my, what's a druds? Nick got, Nick's got my, oh, drugs. Yeah, drugs. Probably. Paul Neil, I do have my rose tinted shades on. I, th I think we do. BX is, but definitely need some Ramsdale magic tonight. I want to see them giving it to the home crowd. Yes, our away fans are legendarily loud. Yeah, drugs, we got that. Um, Pete Colson, great preview. Thanks, Dan and Stan. Enjoy the game, people. Come on, you gunners. And the final one, and with I, I'm a mushroom. Stan, where can people find you? Because you're doing a show at about 1 a.m. UK time tonight, aren't you? Yes, I will be the host this evening on the Arsenal Fan Circle, which starts at 5.40 PST time, which if you're in the UK and you're still up, is about 1.30 in the morning. So if you're still up and you want something to listen to, come by. And uh, you can also catch me on the same old Arsenal USA, which is on every Tuesday, and that's at 7 o'clock PST time. I'm just putting the Arsenal fan circle um, the YouTube link in there. If anybody wants to go there, Stan is on there regularly. Uh, everyone knows the same old Arsenal. That's easy to find. Um, I've done double A. Isn't that nice? Um, Kate must know, can't we get it postponed because Odegaard is positive? No, because we're not Scousers. Um, what a, but, but, oh, here we go. We've got another person on person. Uh, Twitch. Yeah, another person on Twitch, uh, Scam H13. Isn't HN13 bird flu? <sighs> Guys, are, are Maitland Niles and Tunzubi good players? I need to know for Serie A fantasy team. Uh, yeah, Tunzabi, they've just got him on loan from Roma, have just got him on loan um, from, is it Liverpool? Well, they're one of the big sides. Uh, I think he was on loan at Villa and now he's gone there. And Maitland Niles, he, well, Maitland Niles is going to be playing right back and he's, he's quite good. So I'd have Maitland Niles in, but Tanzubi. Until he starts uh, sulking right. about it. Huh? Until he starts sulking about it, being yeah. played at right back. But um, yeah, Jose is in a hurry to get in there. So I think, yeah, he's, he's a good player to have. Uh, yeah, if you're new on Twitch, give us a follow. Actually, I'm going to go and have a look on our Twitch channel and see, because this is using StreamYard and it doesn't bring me a notification. So has anybody followed on, on the Twitch? Green Man Gaming followed us yesterday. No, Green G Man Green. Completely fucked your name up there. Sorry. I followed us yesterday. FH Fire, my mate in, in Brazil, followed a few days ago. Adiash73 followed us. And I'm Not Wearing Pants followed us 12 days ago. So there you go. That's the kind of uh, people we, we attract with this. Um, 
Right, we're not doing any more of your comments. Uh, we'll end it on BX with a come on you, Arsenal. And we will see you 10 minutes after the game with Femi and Nick from ABW will be joining us. Right, thank you very much, Stan. You have been an absolute delight. Thank you, Danny. Thanks for having me on. And uh, I hope we can get something out of this game. Agreed. Right, see you all later.